And then these two jets will climb up into the corridor now named for the X-1 team. 75 years ago yesterday broke the sound barrier. We'll get a double demonstration, a comparison demonstration of the research. Now they're going to take the F-15, the F-15, take about 10 minutes. You see that long probe out the back of the, uh, the G-3 as well. So there's all sorts of things on the end. Some of the stories are going to square up and music too in celebration, which happened after that event. The G-3 comes by again from NASA. And our jets, other two jets, continue to try and get out of the So what we're doing, we're going to demonstrate a standard sonic boom with our F-15. That's with Jim Les, we call him Blue, and with Mills Larson, who, by the way, our R2 test pilot trained to fly the F-15 right now. Following that, we're going to perform what we call the F-18 low boom dive maneuver. It's going to climb to 49,000 feet, do a dive, go supersonic, and pull back up. That's going to create a sonic boom that will be quieter. It should be quiet, it's performed as it should be. Now we're going to hear them call mark as they pass through the speed of sound above us. But because they're so high, it will take quite the end of the beat, almost a minute for that sonic boom to get to us. That's right, yeah. So those shock waves are going to take approximately a minute to get to us. In fact, the uh, the second boom that we're going to hear is actually going to be performed first. That's because he's flying at 49,000 feet. The F-18 at that altitude will actually be the first one to go supersonic. The F-15 will go supersonic shortly after that. But that's the one we're going to hear first. Is the F-15. Isn't that interesting? We'll hear the one that uh, happened second first because of the difference in altitude and the time it takes to get down to here. As they get ready to line up into the corridor, and look for them. They'll be almost directly above us and to the left. Just tiny dots. But they show up real well in that blue sky, especially that white F-15. There they are. They can see I've got the F-15. Tally Ho, straight up there, approaching 11 o'clock coming right at us now. So now, folks, if you can envision that being a boat on the water and the waves coming off of that boat, there are shock waves coming off of that aircraft right now. And that's what we eventually hear down here on the ground as a sonic boat. Like the bumps? 
Are you, are you the kid on the roller coaster with the hands in the air? Yeah, I don't mind it. I've been flying with him for so long in bombs. It doesn't bother me. Yeah, it definitely won't be a fire department. It could be a fire department. Maybe it's not going to be an announcer. I don't know. Anyway, the, uh, the airplanes are going to get powered up. Wayne is there. You see the aerodynamic braking going on with the F-15 right gently set it down on the nose wheel. And I wasn't paying attention if the F-18 got in ahead of him. 